Nothing says comfort like American goulash. So easy to make and so dang good. When I was a kid in the early 70s, that was like the awesome dish. I remember asking my dad, how did you make goulash when we were kids? And he said, well, it was super easy. He got up, went to a cabinet, grabbed out the old Betty Crocker book. It said right here after he found it. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make you the goulash that we had when I was a kid. And it starts with a pound of 80-20 hamburger. About a half of an onion. As far as I'm concerned, that's perfect. Into the pan it goes. Add a little bit of EVOO to it. And I'm gonna put it on the Cuisinart at full strength. This stuff's gonna cook down and then we're gonna stir it up and we'll continue with the recipe in just a moment. Our Cuisinart's on high. Our ground beef and onions have been in the pan for about 10 minutes. Time to break the ground beef down. Get it all stirred up in there with the onions. Cover it for another 10 minutes or so, and we'll check it out. Our meat's looking good in here. I think it's time to put more ingredients in our dish. I'm gonna put the equivalent of about two cloves of garlic into this. Mix it up, give it about a minute so we start smelling the garlic, the aroma. All right, there it is, I can smell the garlic. I'm gonna put about a cup and a half of beef broth in here. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Around 14 ounces of fire roasted tomatoes that are diced. Give it a good mix. Mmm, the aroma, love it. About a teaspoon or so of Italian seasoning. About the same with some paprika. Just eyeballing these measurements. Salt and pepper. And last but not least, to just give it a little bit of heat, one jalapeno. All right, let's let the Cuisinart and the heat work its magic. In about 20 minutes, I think it's time to put in our noodles. We're into the cook 20 minutes. I just want to give it a taste. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. To finish it off, I'm gonna use about a cup of small elbow macaroni. Mix it up. Now I gotta kinda watch it at this point. I think the elbow macaroni is gonna kinda wanna go towards the center. And just because this is so full, it's gonna be difficult to get it around those sides. But we want this elbow macaroni, of course, to come in and be soft. So we're gonna give it about 20 more minutes. This looks so good, and the aroma of this American goulash, absolutely amazing. We're not done. We've got some Monterey Jack. I'm gonna put a little bit on top, not a lot. Mix that up in there. Taste tester. Mmm. Yeah. Put a little bit more on the top. Now that we have some inside the dish. I think I need to bring in for a close-up on this because it looks awesome. See what I mean? That is freaking awesome. 
Let's scoop some of this up. Yeah, awesome. Still a little warm, but I think it's time to take a bite. Mmm, man, all those flavors just come together. The onion, the hamburger, of course, garlic. Yeah, I even get a hint of that Italian dressing. It's good stuff. Just like when I was a kid. That is money. You get that crunch from the onion. Get some of that beef in there. The garlic, of course your tomatoes. Fire roasted tomatoes, that. Now I don't really get the heat from the jalapeno, but I'm sure it's in there because it is a, I don't know, there's something in there that's like a little warm. Could be from the paprika as well, but I'm telling you, this dish is the bomb. You gotta try to make it. All right, we'll see you on the next episode of The Dude's Kitchen because next week we're doing a review of Kingsford flavored pellets. See you then.